Let's uh, head straight now for COVID-19 updates. Stay. COVID-19 Diaries. COVID-19 Diaries. COVID-19 Diaries. Today is Wednesday, the 14th of April, 2021. Uh, the world has recorded 138 million. 123,821 COVID-19 cases. A total number of 111,133,601 people have recovered from the virus globally. Now, 2,974,946 people have passed away. Condolences to all bereaved families out there. And of course, rest in peace to all gone. So let's continue to adhere to all safety protocols. Let's go now to COVID-19 Africa. COVID-19 Africa. COVID-19 Africa. Daily update. On the continent of Africa today, Wednesday, the 14th of April, 2021, 4,409,469 people have been confirmed with the virus, COVID-19. 3,946,238 have recovered so far. 116,693 have died from COVID-19. Let's continue to be safe. And commiserations to all families who've lost their loved ones through this uh, difficult and trying times. Now, uh, let's find out. Let's just uh, Let me just take you through this article. It says, Qatar Red Crescent to launch global refugee vaccination projects. Now, $100 million initiative aimed to provide COVID vaccines to more than 3 million refugees and displaced people in 20 countries. And that, for me, is really, really laudable by the Qatar government. Now, the Qatar Red Crescent has announced it will launch a $100 million humanitarian initiative to provide COVID-19 vaccines to refugees, displaced persons, and migrants around the world. Now, the campaign scheduled to start well, it had kickstarted. Yeah, it kickstarted. Uh, it kickstarted like last Monday. Will run for three years and aims to cover twenty countries across Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. As a matter of fact, I don't think COVID nineteen should be around for the next three years. <laughs> I don't think so. We hope it just goes away the next minute or the next day we wake up. But the way things are looking, cases keeps surging. People continue to die, and you know others do continue to recover. However. The issue of, uh, uh, you know, future complications may turn up, who knows. But we pray that one, one, one morning we just wake up and we don't have anything that has to do with COVID-19 anymore. Or the cases are reducing at a tremendous rate. That's what we're looking out for. So let's pray and be safe. Adhere to safety protocols and all. Yeah. For more updates on COVID-19, log on to africaglobalradio.com. That's all we have. Let's move now to... Um, the big question for the week. You should get ready to share your thoughts as well. The big question. The big question. The big question. Yeah, we are asking you. Uh, is all? Is it has to do with our health? As that is actually our theme for this week. Okay, and we're asking you: Is Africa moving away from natural remedies? Is Africa moving away from natural remedies? I mean. What do you think? Back in the days, it has to do with, you know, putting together a couple of hebel, you know, some leaves, some, some neem leaves and what, has, and what have you. Just put it together. You, you, you have, you're feeling feverish. They, they prepare it. Add a bit of a le- lemon and limes and what have you. You take it for a couple of days and you're good. Yeah, plenty of urines, but you'll be fine. Uh, but gradually, it seems that that system is actually fading away. Who knows? For me, I prefer it. Even in my, ho- my home today, it's something that I love to take. But is Africa actually moving away from natural remedies? Because we heard of COVID organics from Madagascar that actually cured coronavirus. And apparently it wasn't really, really taken. Uh, I mean, the conversation there wasn't really that much. The buzz was just, you know, here and there and it was, it was all over. But here we are struggling to get the vaccines, which is, of course, an orthodox made, uh, you know, medicine. So think about it and share your thoughts with me on the Africa Daily Show through our Facebook page, Africa Global Radio, or on Twitter, AF Global Radio, use the hashtag for Africa Daily Show. 